Happy Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Colorado blue skies are back after a dreary start to November. And despite the rain, snowpack is sitting pretty. Local snowpack is 21 points above average today. The Arkansas Basin down south is 16 points above average. The further south, though, the drier it gets. Rio Grande Basin is 27 points below average. Open snow shows the base depth at every I-70 ski hill is above average, as high as 168% at a basin, with a 21-inch base on the one run they've got open. After months of forums and fundraising, school board winners and losers are reflecting on yesterday's election and what comes now. Chris Guarino, a career contractor and the only new member elected to the board. You know, I look forward to bringing my skill set to the table um, as we look at potential things like employee housing and, and capital improvements and responsible fiscal management. You know, those are the areas where we hit my wheelhouse. Danielle Surrett, a Frisco mother with four for the kids slate, ended with 37 percent of the vote. 26 points behind returning board president Kate Hudnut. I'm going to fight for these kids, for our community, for all those 3,000 people that voted for us. You know, yes, they won. They did. But there were a lot of people that voted for us, too, that felt strongly. Up in Grand County yesterday, voters overwhelmingly said yes to new term limits for elected officials. Most Grand County offices, including sheriff, will now be limited to three, four-year terms. The only office with no term limits is the coroner. In Eagle County, voters said county commissioners can now seek a third term. Here in Summit, the sheriff, commissioners, and more have been capped at three terms since the mid-90s. The feds have approved Colorado's plan to use COVID rescue funding for public schools. Colorado this month gets $389 million from the American Rescue Plan. Money goes to teacher development, tutoring, rural career training, and keeping schools open through public health programs. The latest unemployment data for Summit shows there are 300 more job openings today than before the pandemic and 1,000 more people to fill them. So why is good help still hard to find? Corey Mim with Summit Prosperity Initiative points to a lack of interest, lack of housing, and this. We're finding that there's a lack of skills needed among applicants, so there's an opportunity for us there. Her team is surveying with businesses now to find what skills are most needed. They hope to pair soon with Colorado Mountain College and others to fill those gaps. Uller Fest is back in downtown Breck this winter, December 8th through 12th, with the Shosky, Uller Parade, the Bonfire, and Crowning of the King and Queen. Gone is the Uller Plunge and Talent Show, replaced by drop-in curling. Also returning this season is the Outdoor Retailer Snow Show in downtown Denver. It's going down in late January at the Colorado Convention Center. The snow show was virtual last year. In sports, the Nuggets lost to the Grizzlies by a basket last night, 108-106. to The Avalanche lost to the Blue Jackets in overtime, 5-4. to And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family and Dylan. Tomorrow in Breck are tryouts for the Breck Vipers semi-pro hockey team. Tryouts are open to anyone who lives here in Summit or surrounding counties. Reserve your spot on the Breckenridge Vipers Facebook page. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.